guys, um, so I have a little bit of time here today um, to just say what I did during this IVF cycle. Um, I didn't want to do this too early because I wasn't sure if it worked, and, and we're still not 100% positive it worked. I mean, anything could happen, and it's still really early. I'm only seven days past three-day transfer, so I'm only on 10 days post-ovulation, and my beta is not scheduled till next Thursday. And I just made a video. Um, I took a test this morning. Yesterday's was completely negative, completely white. And this one, I already made this video once. Um, the lighting's really bad in here. It's really obvious for me, so I don't know why it's not showing up in the camera. Why is it not showing up? I think you can kind of see it there. Let me turn it around. Maybe it's just the lighting. Um, there, you can kind of see it. It's better in person. Um, and it's not an EVAP line because it showed up right away and it's purple. So we're going to test tomorrow just to make sure it's getting darker. Um, and I'll probably get a couple different brands just to make sure they correlate. Um, but I did want to do what I did this cycle. Um, because I know for me, uh, if I can help anybody, then great. Um, I know I watched tons of videos on people, what they did on their successful cycles. And I like to think that this is a successful cycle because of this little bugger right here from this morning. Um, so to start off, my vitamins. Um, if you haven't started stimming or anything yet, I started on vitamins and supplements three months prior to our IVF cycle because I was told that the eggs that you have, say now, you'll have for three months. Like those are the eggs that will mature. Something like that. Um, basically the eggs that they get out, they start develop, you're, you're born with them, but they start not maturing, but I guess those are just the follicles that they count when you go in. You know how you have so many follicles? That the ones you have now will be the ones in three months that will show up on your count. So those would be the ones that they would end up pulling out. So I wanted to make sure that they were nice and healthy. So um, I did take a fertility blend for a long time, and once that was empty, I switched back to prenatals. Um, so I do take a prenatal vitamin. However, I'm thinking about switching because I watched a video by Bumps Along the Way that she did way back about her vitamin. I'm going to do the test with mine. If you put your prenatal in vinegar and it takes longer than five minutes to completely dissolve, then you're not getting all the benefits from your vitamin. So these were very similar to the ones she had. So I might, if this works 100%, and we and we are pregnant, um, which I like to hope and believe that we are. I keep staring at this thing, like I can actually see the line like far away now. I don't have to like go like this and stand on one foot and close one eye and you know to see it. Um, then we'll probably switch to something I can find that will be better. But right now I'm just in the Walmart brand. So prenatal vitamin. Then I also from then three months prior I took fish oil um, and I took this the whole way through my pregnancy with my daughter um, and I attribute like all the vitamins I took with her to the fact that I had such a healthy pregnancy and such a low weight gain I like in 10 pounds with her um, and she was six pounds seven ounces so I did really well with her which makes me nervous about this time because I had it so nice the first time um, but I attribute all these supplements that I took also when I was pregnant with her and when I breastfed her I could have fest, fest bred, wow, <laughs> I could have breastfed literally probably at least five or six babies. I had that much milk. So I think the supplements really do help. Um, I also take an extra 400 micrograms of folic acid. Um, basically, my prenatal has 800 in it, um, but I'm taking the extra because you it's not going to hurt me, and um, just in case we do end up with twins, I heard you need the extra 400. Um, and I just want to make sure I'm getting it all in there because I don't want neural tube defects or any spina bifida or anything like that just because of this little pill right here that's literally the size. It's probably the, I was going to say it's the smallest pill I take, but not right now. It's the smallest pill I take right now is baby aspirin, but it's only that big. So I take an extra one of those. Then I also take, and I didn't take this with Isabel. Um, but I don't think it even existed then. Like, I don't think they knew that this would help. And I'm sorry about the lighting. Um, I take DHA. Now, my husband got this one at um, 
spit it out, Sarah. GNC. Um, the ones I had before this were from Walmart, and I can tell you, don't get the ones from GNC. They leave a taste, like an aftertaste, like a couple hours later, like if you burp. I know it's gross, but being honest, um, you can taste it, and they stink. So I prefer the ones from Walmart, because I didn't get that with those ones. And the ones from Walmart are actually red, and they say for prenatal health on them. But that's the only thing different that I'm taking this time. Um, sorry, I'm saying I'm um a lot. Also, I didn't take these with belt either, but because of all the progesterone that I'm on, um, they warned me that you may get constipated, which I did not want to happen because that would just drive me crazy, and I don't want to be miserable. <laughs> so, um, my husband got these ones from Target because that's where he went that day. It's just, it says stool softener, but it's, it, that's what it is. It's just generic for cool ace. And I know these are safe through pregnancy. I had friends that took these the whole way through. And I've just continued to take them because I'm kind of scared that if I don't now, that I'll have a problem um, since I've been taking them since egg retrieval. Um, so, yeah, I got those. I take one a day. Um, I might take this down to every other day. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but we'll wait and see. I, I usually don't have a problem in this area, but I wanted to make sure I didn't because of the progesterone. I might just continue to take them until I'm done with the progesterone, um, just because that seems to be the reason why people say to take it. Um, I'm also still on the baby aspirin once a day. Um, and this is just a generic. It's from the medicine shop, which is what we have here where I live. Um, and it's 81 milligrams, I think. Yeah, 81 milligrams. Um, and I, I'm just going to continue to take that until they, it says, they say to take it until they tell you to come off of it. Um, also, um, I'm sorry I say um, bear with me. I'm on my second vow right now of PIO, progesterone and oil. Um, there we go again. It's not bad. Uh, my husband's really good at it. However, the last two days, and I don't know if it's because my hips are finally starting to get sore because I've been on it for a week, a little over a week now. Um, he hit a nerve yesterday, and I, like, screamed. Normally, I don't even feel him do it, and he's really good at it. He's, um, he's an EMT because he has to be for work. He's a fireman, professional fireman, uh, so he knows how to do these. Uh, I could never do it myself. I have heard, I will recommend this, if you have someone that can give you the shot, do the oil. Uh, I actually went in this morning to get my levels checked. It's the only form of progesterone that you can have your levels checked to make sure you're on the proper amount. So, and usually it's cheaper than the suppositories of the tablets. This, my insurance covers this 100%. It also covers the, um, the needles and the sy syringes and everything, 100%. We don't pay anything for it. And this, I went through a bottle in about eight days. Depends on what dose you're on, I guess. And that was for uh, 1cc. And it has, I think it has 10 in it. I don't know. But it took me about eight days or so, eight or nine days, something like that. So I would recommend that only because this, I didn't never tried the, the suppository or the tablet, but I've heard that they really irritate your stuff and that you get discharge all day and that it can make you really sore and it's just gross and mucky and so I don't know I've never tried it uh, when I was pregnant with my daughter however they did give me clindamycin suppositories because I ended up with an infection and uh, that's the only time I've ever had to do that and I can tell you I never want to have to use suppositories ever again so that's pretty much why I decided on the progesterone. Once she started saying words like cottage cheese discharge and things like that, I was like, nope, give me the shots. I'll take the shots any day. So I don't have any complaint about that. I have, I have watched videos that people say the progesterone suppositories and tablets are really gross and really irritating. So I would recommend the progesterone oil if you have somebody that could give, it, give you the shots every day. Uh, luckily for me, my husband, we live literally a couple blocks from where he works, and he only works nine days a month because they work 24 on, 48 off, and they get a nine-day stretch. So even if he's working overtime, he has someone cover him, and he just runs over to the house and gives me the shot in the morning. So it's nice. So I guess it just kind of depends on that as well. But if, if you were to ask me, I would recommend the shots. Sorry I'm out of breath. Ever since egg retrieval, I've been out of breath, and I think it's just my ovaries. Um... 
Also, what I did this cycle, I'm sorry, this video is getting really long, but I just continue to ramble. I did the Brazil nuts, and I said in another video, Brazil nuts, and I know it's backwards, uh, of how I could not eat them just plain. And then I tried peanut butter, and I tried Nutella dipping them in, and it was, they're just so dry. Uh, I got honey and just put it in little cups. I have like these little throwaway cups that my grandma gave me for like salad dressing or something. And I would just put a little bit of honey and I would literally get just a handful, which is like five or six, and eat those every day. And I started that, I don't know if you're supposed to start the day of transfer, but I started it the day of retrieval because I wanted to make sure that the bromelain was in my system. Um, and this is still the same bag. And I got this from GNC and I think it was, a, oh it says right on it, they were expensive. They were $9.49 for the bag, but I don't think we paid that. I think they were on sale. But the bag lasted, and there's still this much left in it. Now, I, you're supposed to take it for five days, starting the day of egg retrieval. Uh, I did them, like I said, the day of, or I'm sorry, the day of transfer is when you're supposed to start, but I did the day of retrieval. I started them on the day of retrieval, and I went up till two days ago. So I ate them for about eight days or so. And... I would honestly finish the bag and do it every day if they weren't so gross <laughs> and make your mouth dry. And I had to have a drink with me. So I would chew, 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 and then I would get a drink. Um, so I did these. Uh, what else? Pineapple core. I did do the pineapple core. Uh, hold on. I don't know how to pause my video. Hello? Hey, can I call you right back? Okay, bye. I'm sorry, I don't know how to edit on my computer or I would hit stop. It's my daughter. She's school shopping with my mom. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Pineapple core. The easiest way for me to eat the pineapple core was with a bite of pineapple core and a bite of regular pineapple. So what I did was I would cut off, and I, I had my husband cut it in slices this way, like round slices, and he got nine slices out of one pineapple. So I ate two slices a day, and I started that the day of transfer. The night of transfer, I started eating that. Um, so what I did was I would cut off all the pineapple around the core, and then I would take bites of the core and then put a piece of pineapple in my mouth and chew them together because it is really chewy. Sometimes I couldn't get it all chewed to like the point where I could swallow it, so I would just swallow it whole with a drink. So I did that until the pineapple was gone. So that was five, uh, four days, maybe? Four days. I only did it for four days, maybe five. I don't know. We had two pineapples. I did that. We did have pomegranate juice, however, I didn't drink it. Um, I wanted to, but I couldn't. I, I bought it beforehand to see if I liked it, and I don't care for it. So I didn't do that. Uh, what I did do, though, I did keep my feet warm, which was really hard for me because it's hot here. Um, we're in Pennsylvania, and it was really warm when we did all this. I did keep socks on my feet, um, but you're supposed to keep your body temperature cool. Um, you're not supposed to let your core temperature get hot. So I had the air conditioner running because I get hot anyway. And I had the fan on, and I laid here on the couch with socks on and blanket over my feet. So I did that. Um, I did take it easy the first day. I did do what would technically be called modified bed rest. Um, the only time I got up was to feed my pig. <laughs> um, and the only reason I fed her is because she's down by, uh, we don't have a bathroom on our main floor. There's a bathroom on our third floor and our first floor. Uh, so I had to go up or down to go to the bathroom. So when I'd go down, I'd take care of her. But... I didn't do any housework or anything, which was really hard for me. I did get up and sit at the table to eat because I don't like to eat on my furniture. Um, and we like to eat as a family. So the only time I got up really was to go to the bathroom or to eat. Um, and I didn't lay flat. I tried to lay as flat as possible, but it killed my hips and my back and my neck. Um, so I kind of laid at an incline. So I did that. The next day, I, I took it easy. Uh, I didn't do a whole lot. I did do the dishes, and I ran the dishwasher, and um, that's about it. The, by the third day, I think I did sweep the floor downstairs, but I still I didn't carry any laundry or anything, and my husband still won't let me lift anything. He got mad at me for lifting the garbage out of the garbage can, so I'm still technically not allowed to lift anything, and I think it's mainly because of my ovaries. I don't think it's the pregnancy thing. I think it's mainly because of the ovaries being over enlarged and I think that's oh and I gave up pop um, I usually drink diet pop anyway uh, so I think I did have diet pop the, 
up to transfer, like up till the day before. Um, but since last Friday, so it's been a week, I haven't had any caffeine. I've given it completely up. I did give it completely up when I was pregnant with Belle. Um, all I did drink was diet, but the caffeine's still in there, so I wanted to give that up. It was really hard because my husband and I went to the drive-in last night, and we stopped at the gas station um, get-go. I don't know if anybody's familiar with get-go. And um, we got, like, fountain drinks, and I so wanted to get a diet pop. I was so thirsty for it. I got lemonade instead. But So that's probably been the hardest. Even though I do drink a lot of water, every once in a while I do crave a pop. So I got root beer today because um, I just needed that carbonation and I guess I could get Sprite too but I don't want to drink the sugar that's why I drank the Diet Pop uh, what else I really think that's it I haven't done a lot um, it's really hard at work because I run a gymnastics academy with my mom um, she owns it and I'm the head coach and I have the older girls so I am training one of my ex gymnasts right now um, but she's on vacation next week so I don't know what I'm gonna do because she's been my she's been my muscles for the past week or two weeks basically uh, so it is really hard at work however since my mom owns it it's kinda nice that I don't have to explain and feel like I'm not doing anything and you know I still go and I still basically bark orders which I feel awful about um, but that's it I haven't done a lot of lifting or anything like we need bottled water here and my husband's gonna stop and pick it up because he doesn't want me picking up a case of bottled water and I think I think that's about it. Uh, if anybody wants to know anything, maybe I left out. Um, I can tell you, don't do what I did. Don't start testing so early. I started at four days after a three-day transfer, which is only seven days post ovulation, and it like broke my heart every time I saw a negative. And then I'd like turn it and stare at it. Um, and the one on four days or five days did have like a shadow to it, and I don't know if you can see it. It's like a different. Can you see there's like a shadow? But I think it's an evaporation line. The only other thing I could chalk it up to was that it was still a little bit of the trigger left in. Um, because the next day, there was nothing. And that was yesterday. And then today's is, I know I already showed this to you, but I'm like, I keep staring at it. Yay! So, I don't know. I may take another one tonight, but I really hate to do that because I'm afraid it'll come back negative because it's at night. I'll probably just wait till the morning and take another one. Um, I am going to go get, I just keep staring at it. I am going to go get, like, um, these are the dollar store ones, which is what I use to test out the trigger. Um, but I am going to go get some, like, the first response ones because they're, I, I just want, if I take one in the morning and it comes back darker, I want another brand to verify that I'm not crazy and that I'm not seeing lines. Um, but that's it. I got to call my daughter back. Uh, my poor mom is took her school shopping and she probably wants to pull her hair out right now because <laughs> Belle is very picky and she's a diva and she loves the expensive brands. <laughs> so I think that's it. This video has been really long and I'm really sorry but I hope everybody's having a great week and if um, I get some more good news tomorrow I'll probably post a quick update. So talk to you guys soon. Thanks.